Hey guys, it's Eloise and I'm just here today to warn all you wonderful people that there are scammers lurking about in the shadows of the dark. They're pretending to be the one and only rugged good looking Gerard Butler, the actor, which I uh, am sure you guys know. If you happen to like a photo of his or comment on a photo of his or a movie trailer, they're going to come and attack you. <laughs> it's really not funny, but it's just something you just gotta laugh about, I guess. They did contact me through my Instagram and my uh, email, one of my emails. Like, I'm not following him on any social media, but I know I've mentioned him a couple times. How you doing? <laughs> So they contacted me and they're like, hi, it's Jerry. Hey, beautiful. I saw that you made a comment about me and I just want to thank you for all your support. I love my fans. And I was like, oh, that's sweet. Yeah, but it's not really him because uh, there's just no way, right? He's a busy man. He's making movies, right? If you respond or if you don't respond, they're going to try and prove that it is in fact him. And that should be your first red flake. Ding. Like, why is Gerard Butler taking time out of his day to try and prove to me that he is, in fact, Gerard Butler? That's just odd. I mean, you know, it would be wonderful if Gerard Butler were to contact one of us, right? <laughs> but I'm saying this has been going on for years, and it's been happening to many other uh, women out there, especially. I don't know if it's happened to men, too. Whatever. And I guess the scary part is that, you know, with technology improving throughout the years, not only are they just sending you, like, pictures of his driver's license or close-ups of him, or they're even sending, they're manipulating videos, which is the scary part. They're manipulating videos to make it look like he he's, like, talking to you or that he's moving and all that stuff, and it looks very real. You should look up deep fake on YouTube and like deep fake like Spider-Man and stuff you you will see just how they're able to manipulate the faces and put different faces on and stuff it's crazy looking you should uh, block them uh, delete um, change your passwords all sorts of junk all that fun crap right I don't exactly know why like what their purpose is uh, they I've heard that they don't ask for money. I don't know if it's just for shits and giggles, pardon my language, or if they eventually ask you for money or if they tap into your your system, your phone, your computer, whatnot, and try and take your valuable information, which is probably what it is. Um, so I want you all to be very, very careful. And I just wanted to give a warning to all of you people out there because uh, my mom instincts have kicked in and I have two kids and I just know that with, you know, the internet out there and all that can happen, I would love to know and warn my kids. And so I'm just, I'm looking out for everybody. There's no ill intent here whatsoever. Now that I've said that and I've warned you wonderful people, I just want to then talk to the scammers, you know, someone who isn't a fan of uh, dishonest people or, you know, especially scammers or people who manipulate people. I find that, you know, it just brings more harm into the world and I don't quite understand why you'd want to do that. When did you feel it was okay to become manipulative or to scam were you around it as a child i don't know i'd say do some soul search and find out when you know see if you can like resolve some past trauma or whatever you went through to you know come out on top and do good for the world because i do have to say you know you're very skilled at what you're doing but what if you took those skills and you made something good out of it and something that provided good for people and, and helped people. Think of the positive recognition that you would be getting. You'd probably be getting paid more. You would feel good, you know? You'd feel good about what you're doing, what you're putting out in the world. You'd feel good deep down inside of who you are. Can't feel good, you know, hiding what you do all the time and kind of living this secret life or whatnot. So I guess that's my challenge for you is to find out the time in your life where you steered off 
the right path. I know I'm probably not going to talk you out of doing what you're doing. That would be like a miracle, but put good out in the world so good comes back to you because uh, karma will come back and she'll bite you right in the ass at some point. I'll just say the famous quote, you know, there's always the right time to do the right thing and it's never too late to change for the better. So, so that's my, that's my two cents. All right, now I'm going to go back to uh, living my life, watching a movie, whatnot, and uh, I'll see you guys around. Love you all. Remember, spread love, not hate, and do good for the world. All right, bye. Thank you.